So we've thrown a bit of light on the experiment here and uh, Matthew's going to explain uh, what we're going to do here. Essentially the experiment's been running for um, a mm, month and a half. Yeah, a month and a half. Mm -hmm. And um, get good results. Yeah, good results. And essentially, uh, Matthew discovered that at some points when he was l introducing a gas to compensate for a leak, there appeared to be um, a gamma pulse on this mm. uh, Geiger Muller detector over here. And uh, we just set up this ridiculous armature of GoPro uh, <laughs> arms, and we're going to put the camera in there and hopefully show you the gas and the Geiger Muller counter at the same time uh, as Matty goes through a process of adding a little bit of gas. Now, the temperature of the cells is quite hot at the moment, so the hottest they've been. Yeah. Um, so we're not going to put too much gas in, it's just to compensate so that we don't go below atmospheric uh, when we cool the cells down. And if I just go and have a look at the Geiger Muller right up close now, you might be able to see there, I don't know what's going to work. Uh, it's running between sort of 15 and, and 30, so it's 22 at the moment, counts per second. Counts per minute, rather. And then 24 counts per minute there. Okay. And over here, you can see the Hugnet Lab and the uh, Telby Tanders, uh, which are helping power the device. And here <coughs> is our little Hugnet boards.